Habari, it's Akachan Hotatsumaki, and today I'll be doing another Walk the Nostalgia episode, so where which I'll be reviewing Remember Me, a game somewhere from 2014, and honestly, it's one of my favorite, and in general, actually got me into the cyberpunk genre, and even uh, inspired me to do my own work, amongst other things, also being inspired me to do my own work. Uh, I lit. I literally got. I literally ordered this game from Am from Amazon like a couple of uh, years back, somewhere probably near in 2014, 2015, give or take. I'm not sure. In general, I kind of forgot. I'm kind of sketchy because about that time I was uh, I was kind of in high school at the at the at the uh, moment. Um, uh, yeah, uh, cock out the coy. Remember me. Remember Me is your uh, is your parkour action adventure X sci-fi type of game based in uh, Neo Paris year twenty eighty four about uh, memory hunters about about uh, a clan of memory hunters who are fighting against uh, a mega corporation called Memorize that specializes in uh, the manipulation and transferring of memory and since then uh, 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 memory gear. Um, uh, I first found this, uh, I first found this Diamond and Rock game in a Game Informer and from literally just reading synopsis and a few handful of reviews and even the basic picture alone, I was pretty much sold to getting it. Um, I like the fact how, uh, the main character, Nealon Carter Wales, is, is not just you know, it's not just another strong female character for the sake of being a strong female character. Because I know how y'all anti-SJWs are uh, about about uh, things like that. Uh, more or less, um, I like the fact that she actually has growth. Like, she forgets who she is. Spoiler alerts if anyone's curious about playing the game or knowing the story. She gets her memories erased by Memorize. And a mysterious man called Edge, who later is to be revealed to be the main antagonist of the uh, the be the main antagonist of the whole uh, game, H three O, um, who leads her on her way to more or less uh, regain her memory and take down Memorize with the help of uh, of uh, her other uh, memory hunter uh, folks. But she takes the mantle of an heiress. I like that she has growth. I like that throughout the series, you, throughout the game, you know more and more about her. And more things uh, open up. Her attitude changes. She more adjusted a situation that she uh, forgot from pretty much the beginning of the game. So I like the fact she's not just a strong female character just to be a strong female character. She actually has substance. She's like Laura Croft. She actually does have substance. She's not just strong female character input here and there. Although I guess the only uh, the only argument I can actually raise about Remember Me is that she's more or less a, a mutt. I'm not trying to offend anyone, but more or less she's a mutt. Like she's like she's Ethiopian. She's French. She's uh, uh, I'm pretty sure she's in, she's Eastern Asian descent. You know, she was everything. I I guess yeah. On this subject, I'm not talking about SJWs and all that. It is kind of, you know, they're trying to appease to everyone, but it's almost seemed like pandering, so I guess that's the only thing I can say about it. But overall, I actually do like Nilan's character. She's just not a... I like the fact she's not just a plain, strong female character. She actually does have growth. Anesthetics <sighs> and, and uh, 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 graphics and visual ass is pretty good. Yeah, of course, amongst other things, it's dated because, you know, it's an old game from 2014. Um, I like how it looks. It can get glitchy here and there. Like, literally, sometimes she'll just stop in midair or some gaps, like, because, you know, it's a parkour X adventure game. Some things will stop for a moment, like, you no, know, it'll just be hanging, it'll be a glitch. Uh, some things seem, can come off too bright, some things can come off too dark. In some places, I mean, I like I like the backgrounds. I like how everything is illustrated, but some colors just seem like really off sometimes. Really bright, but not too dark, or really dark and not too bright, vice versa. You get the picture. Uh, yeah, if this, uh, it's pretty much your pretty much average smuck uh, action adventure 
with parkour esque elements like Uncharted and uh, and a uh, uh, Tomb Raider. I mean, you got your average here and there anesthetics like those games. It's more or less your it's it's that it's really average a game in general. But I think the substance, the meat and potatoes of this game is why I pretty much hot hold it to a high pedestal. Uh, I know the the uh, uh, the guy who made remember me. He said something about doing a part two, but it never came because he wanted to finish on a uh, uh, what's that joke called? Uh, uh, Life is strange. Yeah, he wanted to finish on that, so he pretty much postponed it, so it never happened. Uh, pretty much, yeah, it's my favorite game. It, it's glitchy, got little bugs here and there, but in general, it's a pretty solid. It's your pretty solid action adventure parkour ish game. Uh, I like the characters, I like the story, I like the world building, and those concept alone kind of almost nearly almost uh, foreshadows the, uh, the uh, generic gameplay. But in general, it's still a pretty enjoyable game. It's the meat and potatoes, the substance, the story, the characters, the visual background designs are stunning. Uh, I even like half of the boss battles sometimes here and there. The concept of the leapers. I like, and it pretty much brought me into the cyberpunk genre in general and inspired one of my uh, current my current works that I'm working on right now for myself. Uh, so more or less, I'm going to give Remember Me. I'm giving Remember Me. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this game is just too, well, it's too entertaining. It's too good for words. Exceptional. I'm giving it an exceptional. I love Remember Me. The atmosphere of the game is good. It has a few gripes and bugs and generic gameplay here and there, but still, the meat and potatoes, the concept, the visuals, etc., like I said earlier, is what keeps me really invested into the game. The story is great. It's more of this mystery, cyberpunk, sci fi, uh, uh, you know, hero's journey, mastery of both worlds type of uh, story but in general it's still good and it's pretty entertaining and it got me into cyberpunk in the first place and I like cy the cyberpunk genre that's one of my favorite genres in writing period uh, quite here like and subscribe give notifications and uh, catch me around I'll be making more videos <sighs> I fuck this game!